<laughs> Hello! Hi! The Marshall family! Yes, it's been a long time we have not had three of us together like this. Yeah, it's been a really long time. Yeah, you have to speak up a bit because you It's all... been a really long time. <laughs> exactly. Okay guys, welcome back to our channel and we're just here to tell you all. Talk about <laughs> our, our first week of self-isolation at home <laughs> for coronavirus. Um, we are all locked down guys and because we don't want to be repeating ourselves we're all locked down and then just on Monday he has to make a decision of staying home to to work yeah and we're we'll we'll in the room where he's working and Abigail was going to school until we had an official letter that school will be closing yeah. on the Friday so I didn't send her to school on the Thursday and Friday I was happy for her to go to school because I feel the kids are going to be bored at a particular time so she stopped going to school on Thursday last week isn't it and she woke up on Friday no she woke up on Monday she was in her uniform like she's trying to be smart <laughs> <laughs> like, are you missing school already? I'm sure some of you have seen um, the pictures, yes. the pictures and, the, and the video. But as a family, for the first phase, we're just going to talk about how we've just gone through the first week yes. of coronavirus. So being home, not going anywhere. And the funny thing with us as a family, we normally shop um, every three months. Yeah, and we go to Costco, <laughs> big shop, every three months. Yes, and we're supposed to go on a vacation in the next couple of days. Yes, a we're few days time, <laughs> we're supposed to be going to Africa for a few weeks. So we thought we'll wait till we get back. We hadn't stocked up, we weren't ready. We saw everyone shopping and go mad. We're and so we relaxed. Thought, no, there's nothing, there's no panic, there's no issue, we just carry on. And so, yeah, we, we did get to a point last weekend at the back end of last week and I was still working at the end of work I was going to supermarkets trying to get toilet roll trying to get the rice and there just there wasn't any anywhere around here so that was a point was... when we also start beginning to panic ah. not panic but start thinking we shouldn't sit anymore we also try to go out and go in search of food but one of them got like on the very Saturday we made up our mind to go out and get food we had everything that we needed that we needed and we wanted yeah. because we just did like a normal we had to go to costco an hour yes. away but they were so well prepared and i gotta say costco and i did post about this fantastic job the store was well stocked they had everything that you could need there was a few things that we might have had on the list that we didn't get but nothing that we didn't can do without so all the main things we got there they, they had a restrictions in place so we could only have one of this and one of that and that was fine but they did a great job and we didn't even you know, the queues were big but everyone was calm everyone was happy it was just it was really good so well done costco you saved us so abby you were gonna say something yeah i've got another worst thing mm -hmm. our trip getting cancelled yeah she i took her to sierra leone um when she was about a year eight months a year six months and that was the last time she ever went to Sierra and she's eight years old she started reconnecting with her cousins talking on the phone she was looking forward to the beaches she the sun and everything as well. yes. and the trip got cancelled but we are still gonna go abigail we'll get go that at the back of your mind when, when everything things settle is, down and we can yes. work it out we'll book rebook and we'll yeah. go yeah. So, so we're still gonna go what have been your time at home abigail what's your experience your experience being at home amazing amazing, amazing. you've enjoyed what that else? yeah enjoyed you've got your school work yeah my school work is fun because i got to do a rainbow mm -hmm. and i also got to do a crack the code on traveling the chocolate factory yeah which is my top pick in school you've got to do so many maths yeah but I enjoy them because you help me. Oh, and also, um, how Miss Martin sends a video of her reading Charlie and the Chocolate Factory on, where on chapter 
Because yesterday she fell off the video tablet. But yeah, getting everything sent through is done electronically. You're moving to electronic. And even your university as well, you've moved to electronic. Yeah. Um, with her, for me, it's been an amazing to virtually actually had to teach my daughter. That home is the school. Home school. That is where um, I've switched up to um, early child. Um, early childhood learning or early child care and education that is why I'm back into university and so me getting to involve more into her work it's an amazing thing to do and I believe we both enjoy it don't we yeah. we don't just wake up in the morning and then get going into the books we have some fun times we have some time on the TV she has some food and then we get going on with with um, books. The only challenging thing for me doing that, I'm also a student at the moment and I have to spend so much time. She's a student, she's a mother, she's a, she's a teacher. She's a wife. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you Abigail for knowing that. And so by the time I finish, we all know her, her work is on the screen. Um, now I've, I'm beginning to have headaches again, my eyes. Now I have to start going back to my wearing my glasses and stuff. By the time I finish with her, I'm, I'm so tired that I can't do my work. That's the only downside of it. But then, to be honest, I wake up every morning and happy to support her doing her work. And one thing she's happy about too is because we're able to send the work to her teacher and got it marked, isn't it? Yeah. And it comes back and she's, she's, she's liking it and she's progressing and everything. One thing I like about my husband He's been so on it. He wakes up just like he would go to work in the morning into his office and he's in the, his office till 5, 5.30 sometimes. It's just <laughs> when you look at working from home, it's very severe because when he's at office, he has breaks, he has times to call me, but when he works from home, he hardly has break. And Abigail has been doing an amazing thing for the dad in the morning. What do you do every morning? I make him toast just like today in my Yes, so like Toast Cafe comes That's, to Daddy. Do you know the reason why I did it? Because because um Grandma you, and you two have special events today. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> and also I wanted to make it easier for you two since you two have been trying your best. Oh, Aww, so sweet. Thank, thank you, thank Abigail. You, darling. Knowing wow. that Mom and Daddy have been trying their best. So Abigail makes Daddy um, toast about toast 10 o'clock in, the, in morning. the morning. How do you enjoy that? It's I, good. I love it. I love it. Thank you, Duncan. I love making it different. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you Daddy know. makes coffee and chocolate in the morning. Abigail makes toast for Daddy every morning. So that is the good side of being home as a family. We're together, yeah. yeah. So that is a good side. You know, I think I, I posted something about this the other day because it came occurred to me that, you know, Everything happens for a reason. This virus, this lockdown, even though there's some reason behind it. God is the reason. He has a plan. There's a reason. This society, we spend too much time at work, too much time not with your families. You know, Finding every money. yeah, <laughs> everyone's <clears throat> in the money, money. If I don't go to work, how would we eat? If and, I don't do this, and that's how all completely this? changed. At the moment, everyone's taking pay cuts. Everyone's losing people's people losing jobs. You know, the whole thing that we know is suddenly changing. Everyone's having to reevaluate. And everyone's having to be stuck at home and with their families. Now, for some people, that's going to be some trouble. We can see some families are going to end up more and more trouble. <clears throat> for us, it just makes us bond and grow together. Oh, well, yeah, because I was just saying that to, to my mom. Like, um, for us, it's spoiling her more because she's one child that um, she's close to the grandma, but she's very much happier to be with her parents yeah. occasionally them. yeah I look attached to my dad but I'm mostly attached to mommy yeah. and so um, having all those times pending with us um, I don't know where this is gonna go but I know she's gonna be happy to go back to school, school and stuff yeah. she yeah. does love school that is what we could yeah. say she's very studious with all the work coming in the school <coughs> sends you work every day and mm. it's so much work but then she just loves Getting on with it. it, yes. You just love getting I on with it. I wonder how my school looks like shut down. <laughs> it's just quiet and empty. 
So yeah, um, every night. we every loving night. that about it. As a family, we, well, like he said, some people were fighting by now. Some people, like I, when the whole thing started, I said so many, most, so many other families will be going into trouble. Some will definitely be going into to prison <laughs> for domestic abuse. <laughs> Which is because not a laughing matter. It's, I know it's not a laughing but matter. But no, there's going to be some because problems. It, yeah, there, it's yeah. going to be some problems. Especially yeah. families that have not been used to all up in their faces all the mm. time. Um, husband has, is at work, wife is at work, everybody. And then now you just have to come and start this new life. It's, 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 it's going to be something. But for us, we just want to thank God. It's making us more closer, making us more appreciative of each other. And it actually gives Dad the time to know what we like. Oh yeah, because yeah, during the day because he's never home during the day. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm, you know, I've, I think I came Monday. I came home in the afternoon, sat at my office, so that I was ready for Tuesday. We had lockdown Monday night, so timing was good. But I would say I don't think I've worked as hard as I have this week. It's been non-stop, you know, trying to keep the business going, you know, trying to work hard, trying to do stuff. But it's been great that when I go for a little break or I want to stretch my legs. I'm going to get a nice Seriously. hug from my wife or my daughter. Seriously, you have been working hard. Yeah. <laughs> and nice. your daughter comes to check on you. Yeah. I don't come to check on him, to be honest. But um, Abigail, every now and then, Mommy, can I go and see what Daddy's doing? Mommy, can I go and see what Daddy's doing? I'm like, oh yeah. And also so, showing my work that I've yes. Doing. yes. So. No, but these guys are great. They're not disturbing me at all. And so, you know, when I come out, it's nice to have them there. Have a little hug or something. Yeah, when, when we give him total sleep, we give him an egg on the side to look <laughs> for it. And also, if he's in a meeting, we just drop it in. And we just, and we just go. Yeah. So, but the yeah. working from home thing, it, it's, it's amazing how that so many people have just switched from like you've been in an office to being at home using zoom using google hangouts using all these kind of things Guys, microsoft he has office three computers on his decks <laughs> there's a fourth one there yeah <laughs> so for us we um we are okay um nothing really on the downside at the moment it's no. just the fun what first one week I think Abigail is okay. We have a square which is really safe. It's rather unfortunate because of how the virus is going, we can't meet our neighbors because we have a very good neighbors. Yeah. But well, then we don't meet our neighbors anymore. So we try to go out in the square. Abigail have two or three runs around the squares. I hope he gets on the bicycle more often because the weather is getting nicer. Yeah. One thing, mm -hmm. um, Karen is really attached to grandma. Yes. So it's sad that she can't visit us. Well, they could, they could talk over the fence at yes. the back from a distance. Yeah, yeah but so. still, she's not she's not been out at all today. She's only been going out once and then coming, coming in. We're yeah. going to go for a walk, and we're trying to go for a walk every day as well. To yes. do that. Oh, yeah, we're allowed we... out, and we live in the countryside, so you know we're we're not like meeting lots of people. There's no crowd in here whatsoever. Oh, we also said we were going to go to to the Maddox Centre and do some family games together. Yes, we'll go there. Tonight. We'll go to the Maddox. I don't know. We'll see. Because Daddy have to come cook now. We eat, and if we're not too full, then but we go for a walk. Don't worry. The sun is still there. And so for us at the moment, we're just happy. Um, daughter is happy. Grandma is happy. We're safe. Um, we're we're safe. not Ill. Wait, we we don't know for sure if Grandma's happy because we don't see her often. We're always together in a in our family. <laughs> but Grandma's in the other she's room. Got we her see own her. Space. Yeah, she yeah. yeah. does give Grandma her own space because she's always on yeah, the phone. But, yeah, but still, we're normally together. Well, so see, we we're really normally know. together. We've been playing games, we've played Monopoly, we've played draft, we've watched uh, um, TV together. Oh, and Dad has to teach me and Mommy chess because we don't know how to play. I'm going to teach them chess. Yeah, so Dad has to teach us chess. So yes. Wish me luck. This, <laughs> well, this together, guys, yeah. stay safe. Uh, do you want to say something? What should you do? Yeah, Abigail, what should you do? You made a video about how to wash hands, yeah. so can you so, uh, forget about washing hands? Yeah, just explain it. Okay, you wash your hands to make sure you keep away from germs. You should always use hot water because like it takes away the germs more than cold water. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And you taught us about a 20 second rule. Um, yeah, the 20 second rule. So raise up your hands if, to show people. Um, how. 20 second rule is not, not just rubbing your hands together and then wa washing them with soap and, that, and then quickly wash. Um, rinsing them and saying you're done. Mm -hmm. um, you have to put, you have to keep on applying the soap for um, 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. Some people think you have to do it every 20 seconds, but you don't. You give it a whole day. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have to do it very frequently. And if you go out, if you go yeah, in, yeah, if you go yeah. out and you come back in from public, you should always wash your hands. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean you have to be it, washing your hands every 20. It's seconds. the same as if you should so, wash your hands. Show them how you exactly you have to wash your so hands. Palm to palm. Mm -hmm. You two copy me. Okay, palm to palm. And then behind the fingers. Behind the fingers. And you also do it there for extra. There for extra. And then your thumb. And then your thumb. And then you just rub some soap on your the back of your hands. The Daddy, back. wrong. And yes. Yeah, like a dance. So there must be a hand washing dance. <laughs> <Yeah. it? laughs> oh, your wrist. She said your wrist. Yeah. The wrist. And then he he do that to you do where that. where you apply the soap. Soap to get your, it in your finger. To get the soap There's a definite hand washing dance to and go with this. Yeah. yeah, and then you just have done the dance, yeah. And uh, also, when, you, when you're when you rinsing, Daddy, I'm not hey. the TikTok. Um, so, mm -hmm. so, like I was saying, you can redo it again, mm -hmm. um, the steps again, if you want to get them all out of your hands, like the soap and stuff. Okay. Thank you Abigail for teaching us how to wash your, our hands, not your hands, how to, how to wash our uh, hands. Babe, do you have anything to say? No, I think, um, yeah, you just got to stay safe, make sure that you're not isolated, that you're talking to people, even if it's only on video call, you've got to see that face to face, you've got to get out and get some exercise, get, and you know, if you're working from home, keep to a routine. Make sure you, you know, as if you're going to work, and that's what I've been doing, you know, as if I'm going to work, um, you know, keeping that routine, getting through stuff, just keeping yourself occupied, yeah. loving my family. Yeah. Well, I've kept myself occupied by being a teacher to this girl. Being a wife, <laughs> and being to, a this wife man. to this man. And then we've been a family <laughs> all together. Being a family all together. So guys, till we do a next update of how we've been coping at home, later, next week. we'll, yes, we'll, we'll talk to you later. Bye. Stay safe. Stay inside. Stay inside. Wash your hands. <laughs>